it's just the peacefulness and the serenity of it. It's just, uh, I don't know, it, it seems to draw artists for some reason. And uh, I don't know, I, think, I just think God's hands here. The Linda Miracle is talking about Mentone where she had a successful real estate career until her life took a turn. I was doing quite well and uh, kind of working for my retirement and um, had a bad car wreck one day and um, had a closed head injury and lost all short-term memory. I was just like an Alzheimer's patient. I had a dear friend came to me one day that was a counselor at school and she said, Belinda, sometimes you can use the artistic side of your brain and it'll trigger your memory. And I said, well, that sounds lovely but I don't have any artistic ability. I can't draw a stick man. And she said, well, I'm gonna go take a pottery class. Come go with me. The results are here at Miracle Pottery. And uh, they came in and started buying my little pots. And I remember just crying because they were buying my little pots. My big dream now is to have a big enough facility that I can help other people. She's already found a budding talent in Max Sherbineau, orphaned as a boy in Russia, adopted by American parents, and now showing his own creative flair. When I saw him make pottery for the first time and he'd never made a piece of clay, had to never touched a piece of clay, that's my greatest reward is to help people. Valinda is also discovering new ways to express her own art through painting. I just simply hold the paintbrush and all these beautiful things come out. God has just truly blessed me with these talents that I didn't know I had. But there's one piece of art in the shop which really isn't for sale. Because that's kind of a self-portrait. That was when I was in the corporate world and that was the artist in me trying to break free. When I didn't know I had any talents at all, that was the artist that was in me all the time. The collection of artists who have moved here to Mentone make it a fascinating and beautiful place to visit, and it's well worth a stop at Miracle Pottery to see the work and hear the story, which is a miracle. At foot of Lookout Mountain, I'm Fred Hunter for this week's Absolutely Alabama.